I think one of the questions is, is that how you think needs to happen for soft open source derivative software companies to be standalone, independent? Because historically, they've all did the support services model. A lot of distros, they acquired by, you name it, a uh, big company, and then the project kind of Yeah, like, I mean, look what happened to MySQL. Look what happened to Sleepy Cat. The fact that we, the fact that we didn't have a defensible IP strategy meant that at some point, we couldn't continue to grow. We, we would attract low-cost services competition from outside the US, from cheaper geographies, just from people who recognized there was an opportunity to come. We would, in some sense, create our own competition. I think that the only way to build a long-term independent company is to own proprietary IP. I do think open source is the way that platform software is going to happen. So if you're doing enterprise infrastructure these days and you think you're going to create a, a proprietary software company, pure play, I tell you, I, I think you're wrong. CIOs want open source infrastructure. They insist on it. Uh, and the ecosystem is capable of pro pro producing it. If you want to build a company that doesn't get acquired by Oracle but that grows up to be a company of that scale, really your only choice is to adopt a hybrid strategy like that. Uh, and Red Hat is my favorite example, a billion in revenues plus now, right, continued growth, driven off of a hybrid strategy that gave them unique value in operating systems and delivering open source to their customers, right? Uh, that, is, that is our ambition for sure. I think, look, pure play services only open source companies can and do get to somewhere between 20 and 50 million in revenues, and there are many examples, right, including our last company, my last company, right? But for companies to grow past 100 and toward a billion, you must have a, a more nuanced IP strategy than just we're going to give all our bytes away.